All right, let's now try doing a subtraction problem in Napier's checkerboard abacus. Let's work out, say, 106 take away 49. Here's how Napier suggested we do it. Let's just use the bottom two rows of the, check of the chessboard right now. So first of all, 106 is the first number I said, so let's represent that first number in the top of these two rows. 106 was what, 96 plus 10? Here it is, 96 plus 10. And we want to subtract from that, I said 49, I believe. He said represent, represent that on the bottom row, 49. What is 49 going to be? It's going to be um, 48, I believe it's a 32 and 16, yes, and one makes 49. Great. So what we literally have to do is subtract the bottom row, 49, from the top row, 106. Well, that's fine here because it shows me I need to subtract one dot from there, which I can do, but I can't subtract one dot from there, it's empty. I also need to subtract one dot from there, which I can't, it's empty. So he advised, okay, fill up those boxes with unexplosions. Of course, that's our language, but he suggested, remember, a dot on any row came from two dots, one place to its right, unexplode. Okay, now I can subtract one dot from there. Grand. Uh, I don't need to do any subtractions there, but I need to subtract one dot from there, which I can't do, so unexplode that dot. Or now create a problem there. Unexplode that dot. All right, so here we did three unexplosions there, there, and there, and it looks like I can actually subtract one dot from there, one dot from there, and one dot from there. So let me do it. Take one from there, one from there, one from there. That is, I actually taken away 49, so let me get rid of the 49, and I'm left with that answer. And what is that answer? Let's see, it's a 48 plus 9, it's 57. 106 take away 49 must have been 57. All right, grand. Now, of course, Napier suggested working with just a set of counters all the same color. But if you actually work with the counters of two different colors, then you can think of dots and anti-dots, or tods, as we like to do. So let me show you how we could do it our way in the same machine and get really being through the same method. So I said 106, there it is, Take away 49, that is, add on the anti version of 49. Um, okay, 49, 48, 49. All right, so to us, subtraction is an addition problem, so let's add these two numbers. Zoom. There they are. That's it. Grand. Now, of course, we've got some annihilations that can occur. For example, annihilations can occur right there. Poof. But then we've got some problems. We've got these anti dots floating around. And how did we deal with the anti dots before? Well, we did some unexplosions. Let's unexplode this one. And that now allows us to do an annihilation. Poof. All right, I need to do an annihilation on, that, annihilation on that one, but I need to get some dots over there, so unexplode. Unexplode. And now I can do an annihilation. Poof. Now, if any of you just noticed, but we actually did three unexplosions. One from there, one from there, and one from there. The same as Napier. He needed it so we can actually take dots away. We needed them so we can actually do the annihilations, which is equivalent to taking dots away. So actually, we've done the same thing as Napier did with the use of dots and anti-dots. And by the way, did we get the answer of 57? 40, 56, 57. Yes, we did. All is good.